Hey guys, how's it going? All right, today another small project that I have to do is um, we're going to NASCAR races and it requires that um, where we go there is absolutely no hookups at all. You're 100% off the grid, so your own generators, you make sure your water tanks are filled up and all that good stuff. They do provide, um, they have water trucks that run around to fill you up. They do have uh, septic uh, services that come out and pump you out but you are responsible for your own power okay well every year we're not well whenever we go we use this generator is what we've used for i can't tell you how long um i, I think this generator we bought in 2014 or 12 or somewhere around there it's 5500 watts 8250 um starting watts and every year we have a, a box, basically a wooden box that I kind of roll that into and it stays in there. So for two reasons. One, if it rains, the rain does not get all over the generator, protects it some. Second is noise. It helps with the noise coming out. And uh, so the box that I've had, I don't know if you all guys all noticed uh, when the meat birds were out there, there is a box that is within the um that coop um that there is what i used to use all the time but hey it's rotted i actually had that box before i had that generator so it's all rotted i don't even dare move it i just leave it where it sits for shelter for the animals so i am going to build another one cheap i'm taking two by fours that i have you need to make it light, and I'm ripping them down to two by twos. And we'll pre drill it and we'll screw it all together, and then we'll just wrap it with plywood. So there is no designs or anything that I go by. I'm actually taking the size of what that is, thinking about how much space I need, and go from here. All right, well, let me get into I've been ripping some more boards, and let me get into uh, start framing some of this out, and I'll show you what I got. All right, here's the basic framing of what I'm building. My other one was a lot lower, was down in this area, and it was always just hard to fill up every time you'd have to grab this and pull up and drag it out. Now what's gonna happen is the back of this will be facing the camper. Now it will have, so it will have three sides, one, the back, the side, and the roof. This front stays open. What I also do is, on the back, I'll probably stop it about right here, the sheeting, so that whole back part is open to get more air. Get an air filter for that if you see that off. But that's what I've done. The, basically, I widened it about six inches from the other one to give me more room to wiggle around. And then also, I uh, raised it up, which was much easier for us to be able to pick up and then take it out to fuel it. I don't want to put a hole up here to get a funnel because that just means the whole water will drain right down in there. So um, that's what we've got. Uh, I've got to go ahead. I'm going to get oil. I'm going to change the oil on this and uh, get an air filter for it. So that's something tomorrow when we're picking up. And I'm picking up the plywood and I'll get this sheeted and get it ready and get stuff loaded. You know, we're leaving tomorrow. Works good. And I also, another thing I do um, that I've learned to do, we've seen it. Um, we have actually have a huge chain that I wrap around the frame that actually wraps around the bumper of the back camper. So the chain, the, 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 the generator is chained to it. So when we leave, when we go to races, I mean, we could be gone four to six hours. And um, so, yeah, we want to make sure everything stays secure. Um, all our fuel tanks will be uh, uh, chain well not chain it's actually cable um, I don't know if you guys all know this you cannot use a chain cutter to cut a cable so I always learn to make things more difficult for whoever's stealing stuff um, I haven't seen theft I've heard of it being at the races but I cable my fuel tanks yes there is a lock but I kind of hide the lock I just make it more difficult. 
I make rattling noises. So, you know, when you hear something rattle, it scares people. So, all right. All right, there it is done. Yep, got the top on. Got the side on right here. You can see the other side's on. And you see how I leave the back open right there. Walk around the back side. That way, it gets plenty of airflow across the bomb generator. Also, it leaves me a spot to throw a chain through to hook the generator, which then gets hooked to the camper. Yeah, it all looks good. Nice and strong. Let's see. Two by four corners right there, which allows me to rip two by fours down up here. These are two by twos across the top. I've got them all layered in there, set in there nice, got some bracing across the top. It's all screwed together, no nails. There you go. Now we gotta get in the back of the diesel. Then we'll slide the generator in it in the back of the diesel and then we'll start loading. Start gathering up my gas cans. Got a bunch more sitting over there. We're going to bring, I think, about 30 gallons of fuel. I know we'll need double that for being there. But there you go, guys. That's it. Quick, easy, little cover. Kind of cuts down on the noise a little bit. It all helps out. We're done with this little project. Y'all take it easy.